Hello everyone. Today we're going to be talking about death. Why is everyone so afraid of death? Some of you may be thinking, why is she talking about this? Why are we talking about death? It's so somber. One of my assistants said that to me. It's like, I can't think of a real, it's so somber talking about death. Well, the truth is for me, death is not a somber topic actually. I feel like death is a very beautiful passage. And in today's live, I wanna talk about why people are afraid of death. So if you are afraid of death, please, of course, leave your comments. I would love to respond to any questions or comments you have. I have an upcoming Ascension Codes death that is on the topic of death, and we're coming into the Day of the Dead on Monday. So we are in a time where death and looking at our shadow is very important. And good afternoon. I see you all tuning in from all over. Thank you for being here. Hello, Rafina, Oren, David. Hello, hello, Lucas. So people from all over the world, welcome, welcome. Hello, Louise. And so we're gonna be talking about death today. And I, I know that the number one reason, hi, Emily, the number one reason why people are afraid of death is because they're so afraid of the unknown, of like what happens after we die. And the beautiful thing is it's not as much of a mystery as you might think. It is, there are countless, you know, different religions, different philosophies and lineages talk about death in all different ways. And I have a very clear relationship to death. I feel like I'm very clear on what happens after what the point of life is. And that's what I'm going to be sharing in my Ascension Codes. But part of that fear is because of unknown. So if you were to do your part in doing your spiritual healing work and be in your personal development work and really study death and, and go through healings and workshops connected to death, you could completely heal that part of you that's like, oh my God, I don't know about it. So like, I don't want to know about it. So keep it away from me. And I'm just going to act like it's never going to happen. But that's not true right and so i'm just going to read some of your comments here i see some people writing things it's part of our path but we are afraid so we don't have to be afraid though that's the thing right like we don't have to be afraid and someone else right it's in our instinct to stay alive so it definitely is in, in our instinct to stay alive but the problem with that is if you're trying to stay alive and be too safe you don't live so this is one of the problems when you don't heal, heal your relationship to death, you're too scared to do anything because you think you might die. I remember when I was traveling around the world, my grandparents would be like, why are you gonna go to that country? It's very dangerous, you could die. Like when I would go to like Egypt or the Middle East or whatever. And I'm like, well, you can drive in your car down the street and die too. Would it, or I could get on a plane. You know, Some people don't even fly because they're afraid it's gonna crash. So when you're too afraid, then you don't live. And that's a big problem too. So I had a near death experience back in 2013. I had heat stroke and I had an experience where I had like a crossing over moment. And it was one of the most peaceful experiences of my life. And I think because I had that, I have a different relationship to death. And also I am part of a spiritual path and a spiritual lineage where we have a very different relationship with death. And um, someone goes crazy that you're having this live right now. I'm sobbing over my dead fiance currently and this just popped up, crazy timing. I'm so sorry to hear that seashell. And you may wanna tune into my Ascension Codes that I'm gonna be having. And it's happening on Monday. The link is in my bio. And I'm going to be going over that passage of death and what that means for us in the grand scheme of our timeline as a soul. But today specifically, I want to talk about all the things that humans do that because of fear of death. So one of the other things that I have seen as a medical doctor, when I would work in the hospital, I would see crazy things that family would do families would do because they didn't want their loved one to die. And so you see right now what's happening in society where old people are getting pushed away to like live in these retirement homes and people are like taking all of these pills and people rather stay alive and have a poor quality of life 
then live the full breath of life and just die when it's time to die. So when you come to accept death and you, you, you build right relationship with death, you can enjoy your life so much more. You can make better decisions for your loved one. And yes, yeah, sometimes death happens and it's sudden. And having a better relationship with death really helps with that. And Emily writes, I see the same thing in the hospital. Families wanting their elderly family members to live forever rather than pass peacefully. Yeah, so this is a from a sick culture. Like the fact that elderly people are kept alive, even like not that, you know, but they're cat like, you know, do up resuscitation and I remember there was an elderly woman who had passed away when I was on war and actually had a few when I was in the hospital on rotation a few people pass and they had like a do like like that you need to resuscitate no matter what mind you these people were on ventilators and I remember doing the chest compressions and the ribs breaking because they were so thin at that point and so malnourished because they had been being kept alive on into on machines and intubated and and I remember pushing on the chests of these people trying to resuscitate them and feeling every part of myself being like no this isn't right because I wasn't letting them rest in peace and move on and pass on and that really stuck with me and I remember witnessing so many you know because we have to do an intake when patients come into the hospital and people were like, absolutely not, like do everything you can, like no matter what. And sometimes people were like 80, 90 years old. And, and it was just like, that is not the best course of action. And it's, and it's not their fault, it's not anyone's fault. The problem is in society, we never talk about death. It's like it's that thing in the corner and that no one wants to talk about it because it's like bad or something. Death is not bad, like death is a part of our life. It's a part of the transition that we go through. And I would love to talk to you about all the transitions that we go through in life and how it is an initiation process and what happens after life and all of that. But it's one of those topics that you have to be ready to receive and to really go through an, like an activation around that. And that's what I do in my Ascension Codes. And the number one reason why people are afraid of death is because they don't understand the process. They don't understand it in relationship to life. They don't understand death in relation to the grand scheme of our soul. And I feel like as each person gets knowledge in this, it changes our culture because then different decisions are made and you're looking at life in a different way. The number one question I ask people is like, would you feel right if you were gonna die, if someone said you're gonna die tomorrow, do you feel like you lived your life to the fullest? What do you think? For me, I have. I'd be like, okay, I'm good to go. I've done it. I've done as much as I could in this life. But not everyone can say that. And I want to have a conversation with you where you can walk away feeling like I'm going to live my life to the fullest. This is what I came here for. So that after you go through the Ascension Code's death, you're gonna feel like I can live my life more fully, more joyfully. So someone writes, did you have an EQM experience? Can you elaborate? I don't know what an EQM experience is. Like I said, I had a near-death experience. I crossed over, I went to the other side. It was like, and then the spirit and the love of my family brought me back and it was like, you're not done. You have a bigger mission to do. And that was actually, a big part of my spiritual awakening. I was already starting to have a spiritual awakening before that, but then that that experience was like even more. I really felt like I know I'm here to live for a long time and I have a very particular mission to do. So when we have these moments and these dances with death, they can really help us to put our life into perspective even more. And so, like I said, I wanna have like a whole dedicated time with you in the Ascension Codes death workshop that's happening on Monday, 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern time. And there's gonna be the replay and the recording. The link is in my bio. I've been posting about it, it's in my stories and such. And it's such an important topic and we're gonna do it on the Day of the Dead, which is a really powerful time. The other thing that's important is, it's important to understand etiquette with death, with those who've passed on. So if you've ever had someone close to you pass on, 
it would be good just for that too, to, to help you understand the relationship so that they can rest in peace better and you can rest in better peace in your life right now. And there's so much on this topic that I wanna share, but I'm, I want you to know that it doesn't need to stay a mystery. Death doesn't have to be a scary thing. You get to have a relationship with death the way you have a relationship with marriage or divorce. Like it's an event in our lives. And I know that as people in my family have passed on, you wanna know the thing that I was sad about. It was never that they died. I was always sad that they suffered before they died because of how everything was implemented. That's the part that makes me really sad because death is one thing, but people having to suffer near death, that to me is a big problem. We don't want people to suffer and it doesn't have to be that way. If we become educated and we choose not to like, oh, I don't wanna talk about it. Like, let's not talk about death. Like, no, let's leave it until the person actually dies. This is how we can avoid so much of the heartache and the hardship that comes with death if we're prepared for it. And like I said, I don't think this is a somber topic at all. I think it makes us wiser, it makes us stronger because if you can look at death in the face and be like, hello, then you can be that strong pillar in your life, in your family's life, in your loved one's life so that when the passing happens, you see it in a completely different light. But like I said, it's something that it will change the course of how you see the world, how you see life. So I need to have your permission to share on what I believe is what happens after death and what many lineages believe. Because also because different religions and cultures can believe different things. So I like to make sure I have your permission so that you really receive what I have to say. So if you're wanting to dive deeper into the topic of death on a very special day, which is the Day of the Dead, on Monday, November 1st, on at, at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. I would love to have this conversation with you. If you're catching the replay of this live, you can ask any questions you might have about Ascension Codes, about the fear of death, and I'd be glad to answer it. And I look forward to seeing you Monday for Ascension Codes. Again, the link is in my bio. I'm Dr. Nikki Starr. Thank you so much for being here and I look forward to diving deeper with you into the theme of death in the most beautiful way so that you feel so wise when it's complete. You feel so strong, so confident. You feel more in love with life. Someone says, if I work, can I watch the replay? Yes, there will be the replay. So if you can't attend live, you can still register and there will be the replay available. Seashell says, thank you, the one who is crying over the death. Yeah, I, I really invite you, Seashell, to come into the Ascension Codes death. It's really going to be powerful. You're going to see things in a whole new light. You'll be able to connect to your fiance in a different way as well. And when we get empowered, you know, right, it's a great theme, yeah. So when we become really empowered around tough topics, our life forever changes. And I also want you to know that this Ascension Codes, all of them have light language, energy healing. You're guided through meditations and experiences so that energetically you also rewrite whatever death meant before, it will mean something different after. And like I said, I'm someone who's very, I'm very neutral on the topic. Like when people in my family have passed away, I have responded very different from the other people because of my relationship with death. And when you can really come to this place, like people trust you and you could be the perfect person to also help people transition. So if someone you love or those close to you that you love are going to pass, you can be like that anchor, that shining light that can really help them through a time where they may feel fearful and scared. 
So you also do this process of creating a better relationship with death, not only for yourself, but for all those around you and for the people you love. And that's when you leave the Ascension Codes on Monday, you are going to feel like a healer connected to death. Some people call it like a death doula, someone who helps someone through the transition of death. And imagine the world we lived in, we would live in if everyone had a healthy relationship with death. And like I said, what it ends up doing is it helps you live more. You will live more on purpose, you will live more fully, and you will come from this place that you're at peace, at peace with all that happens, you're in trust with divine timing, and you'll live because you won't know when your time is to go, but you'll be comfortable whenever it comes and you'll trust. So with that, I send you so much love. I look forward to being with you on Day of the Dead for Ascension Code's death. The link is in my bio. You can also see it in my feed. And I look forward to sharing that time with you. I'm Dr. Nikki Starr. Thank you for being here and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.